Okay guys, Mr. Ballion here. I'm going to go through uh, in my mind in how Russian constructivism will influence our designs at this point, okay? And you'll see the elements that are embedded in the movement. And I'm not gonna go to the political side of the constructivism movement. I'm just gonna go and analyze if there are any patterns and see how that could influence my next steps in designing a building, okay? It's that simple, it's very experimental, it's conceptual, no right or wrong. Let's get going on this, okay, on that screen over here. All right, let's do this. So I'm looking at this and so far I've got, you know, this layer has maybe five images at this point. I'm just gonna close the window there. Okay, so at least five images and I'm just gonna pan just through so you guys can take the time and observe. And it's exactly what I said to you guys with the orthographic drawings with the pencil sharpener. Let's observe first what's going on as opposed to directly attacking the assignment or the activity, okay? So at this point, I'm just gonna get a pencil of some kind here and pick a color. And I'm just gonna doodle from what I am seeing. Okay, guys, so let's look at this one, for example. And of course, it's probably around the same color. Ooh, look at that. All right, so let's look over here. I'm gonna go with a marker, I think. And let's go with something that'll really stand out here, all right? Okay, what am I seeing here? I'm looking at this building here and I'm seeing a lot of rectangles or boxes per se, okay? And I'm seeing in terms of scale, various sizes of boxes again, okay? So maybe I should use, let's see, let's try this here, look. Boom, I'm seeing another box and so on and so on here. Um, there are various boxes that stick out all over the place and there's additional towers here, another one here. And what's interesting to me right here, I'm looking at this business here. So there's basically, a perhaps, not basically, perhaps a connection between building A and building B. Some kind of a concourse or a path to go. You know what I mean? That's very cool. All right, if you've ever been to um, downtown Ottawa, you will find that, you know, in cities like Montreal and Ottawa, where there's a lot of snow in winter, there's these pathways that are covered from the elements. Basically, in the snow, people could go from one building to another, okay, during the winter uh, months. Okay, another thing. Okay, so let's say basically it's a repetition of forms, okay? That's what I'm seeing. And of course, here, we're looking at this here. This is a, a circle. If I break this down into fractions and pizza pies, you will see that you can come in here and make your own pattern. That's basically it. And the movement is this way, okay? So that's what I'm seeing here. I'm gonna take that. So this is just like, you know, right off the bat, okay? Like very uh, superficial from above. We're looking at things, okay? So again, we're just seeing a repetition of patterns, all right? That's what I'm going to say and form. So it's basically cubes elongated and repeated, okay? Magic word, repeated. Let's see if I could talk and spell at the same time, okay? Repeated. Okay, let's look at this one here, okay? I'm zooming in again. Wow, and um, if I look at this, oh wow, very cool. Like again, see look, this kind of connection from one side to the other. Okay, I need to go to another color here, perhaps a, let's go with something like this. So let's try it like that, see? Like there's a connection here, there's a pathway down here connecting uh, the various elements of this building, okay? So, Again, on a superficial level, looking from above, what am I seeing? I'm seeing this here, boom, another one, yes, and so on and so on, and somewhere down here. What's really cool to me is there's always a, an element that connects them. Look at this right here, see? And this is what I, I, I didn't wanna do run this lesson first. I just wanted you guys to kind of look at it and see how many of you actually ex took the time to analyze what you're looking at. Okay, so look at this, a connecting element. I can go in here and add another one. 
look, I can go from this to that. So another connecting element. So there's so many layers, okay? So this was the goal for me, to get you guys to look at the work and say, okay, Mr. Ballion, I see what's happening here. There is a pattern of form, okay? There's a repeat of pattern. Now, what do you mean by repeat of pattern? Well, let's go to the next one. Let's see. Oh, well, those repeat of shapes. Let's just say for now, the first two have had shapes like this repeated at various scales. Cool. What do I mean by repeated pattern? That's the other, uh, that's the other point in this. Let's see, what do we got in this one? Wow, this is wild. Okay, maybe this one is a little too much right now. We'll just leave it be. But I do see this one having, instead of cubes being repeated, this one basically has cylinders. Okay, so another cylinder, but really at the end of the day, it's really the same thing. Look how cool that is. Okay, so you go up here and, and it's the same idea. Look, it connects one side to the other instead of cubes it's bunch of cylinders okay another cylinder boom boom that's all this is guys it's cylinders upon cylinders upon cylinders so really there's a repetition change of size change of scale but i'm still looking for this pattern business okay look this is what i mean like look here's one second cube third cube fourth cube fifth cube sixth cube and so on so there's that repetition and that's what creates a pattern okay look down here one two three four five six that's repetition of pattern okay a form that creates a pattern but he, you're going to see below something a little more distinctly um that kind of shows you pattern okay so i went from those three we know there's cubes and cylinders that's it nothing else nothing else here let's look at this one closely um move that out of the way yeah oh love these drawings okay okay calm down all right all right so now look at this for a second okay i hope you're looking now what do you see here one two three four five okay it's the same thing look at this one two three four five six same objects same shapes repeat it over and over creating a pattern these are the elements of design folks okay so at the end of the day these are cubes elongated or not so if i look at this in in orthographic which is one view you'll know that i'll just go let's let's make this brighter so we can see this yeah oh man i love that contrast okay so here one two three i'm just Look, I'm just making this stuff up, not even copying it. I'm just going, okay, uh, perhaps I could use a thicker marker where we can just go one, two, three, four, five. Okay, now I'm going to go in here in this version. Yes, it's working. Density is what it is, apparently. Okay, so this doesn't go any, any stronger. So what I'll just make it thinner and I'll just go uh, maybe... Let's do that. Okay, so let me continue here. So watch this. One, two, three, four. So there you go. That's one pattern right there. All right, so what I'll do now is I'll select it in my lasso tool, and I'm just going to bring it here. I want to use the term mind map here. Okay, so in a way, I didn't asked you guys for a mind map perhaps that's the language that makes more sense to you guys because in a way you guys understand what a mind map does so what i could do is come in here on my own in my analysis and reflection i could take these elements from the middle saying constructivism russian constructivism and then just fan out with various images okay so what i'm going to do here i'm going to copy this one like this and go Control c Control V, please work. Yep, it does work. So now look, I've elongated it right there. Boom, that's longer. Now I'll just bring down the layer. Boom, it's one idea. So let's look at this part here. What do we have? All right, so let's change our colors. And this is the level I want you guys to go next week. There's two things. I'm reviewing what constructivism is doing. And next week, we're going to go to the aesthetic of how do we represent this? Look, there's color used here, okay? So let me continue with this building here. Just the same thing as I'm looking at right now. I'm just going to go boom. And I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to make this one darker right there. That's what that is right there. And then change the color so you can see the various elements. Okay. Okay. Next element is here. Watch. 
boom so what I'm what I'm getting from this right now is these are the various elements it gets even better watch this even though there's little icons here like what ding 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 like that there's all this uh, balconies but that's that's okay but the overall structure is this and here's the actual connection look at this like that okay so basically this to me this inverted L is that element how cool is that let's continue what else are we looking at ha huh, this is kind of very nice this is like my favorite part here actually it doesn't really <laughs> matter it's all good all right so let's take this one okay watch this and and I think drawing in marker is awesome because uh, it forces me not to uh, work in detail like this is very too loose slow track I mean loose and you know easy like it's just no commitment to detail so overall reflections okay so check it out the next piece I see something like this so again my study right now is an orthographic and this is what I am seeing wow very nice there's this nice long rectangular piece as you could see there okay so I'm just gonna go darker and smaller and I'm gonna add this so boom oh, come on how is that smaller that doesn't get any smaller okay how about this one okay here we go boom 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 that is the top part however this structure goes right down watch ding 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 like that okay and one more over here and then what's happening look okay that's it that's my piece right here I've just basically simplified this whole movement here okay so let's continue here all right now this is the part again that's dominant in all of these there's always connecting pieces like a colonnade a place to walk convention centers have this they have that big walking area getting from one area to the other now let's watch this for a second I love by the way this the, the stacks in the back okay let's not even get there okay I'm gonna soften this up here uh, where are you here you go so this becomes one structure okay so there it is that's okay let's leave it like that beautiful that's done now let's bring the element that ties them together okay am I running out of colors pas de chance we're going for this one. Oh yeah okay here we go all right so this to me um, is what I like everybody to attempt okay um, look watch this I'm just gonna go like this like that Vroom. my audio just stopped okay there boom and okay so what's going on here why can't I oh like yeah these things all right so I'll use this one here okay so let's go crank this brush up I'm just gonna go like this and reduce the opacity a touch we're gonna go with the paintbrush watch so now this is the big connecting piece look it goes beyond it see here this jog it goes beyond it it goes beyond it because look do you see that edge there's no connect so it goes beyond it this is what I'm doing for you guys here and of course what does this have watch this this is really cool repeat the patterns one more time boom boom there 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 and there okay so you know I've over exaggerated these pieces I could I can go control Z a couple times let me just uh, balance this that one let's just go with minimal work okay there it is so you can see all of this is happening really amazingly in most of these okay so there's all these beautiful structures all right so if I just simplify it even further I'm just gonna lock this up reduce it and I'm just gonna make a new layer and I'm gonna say okay let's crank this brush up that so we'll just use different colors hopefully this will work and I'll just go like this structure one let's go with my orange I believe yep right there structure two look really simplified structure three boom boom right there okay structure number four all part of one building this kind of vocabulary is unbelievable okay now there's an architect that was a huge influence for me when I was in architecture school and it was Le Corbusier and apparently Le Corbusier had influence here and uh, I, I don't know like it's pretty amazing okay I'm just I'm not name dropping I'm just saying there apparently there was a connection between his work and their work you know it's all good but I think the Russian constructivism movement on its own is amazing okay so I'm gonna add one more form uh, let's go with the pink here and I'm gonna do this so when you squint people and I say this a lot people make fun of that 
when you squint that's what you see here this is what you're seeing that is the structure okay all right so I'm gonna try to get this done in a few minutes here so here it is here's that building you know about patterns I want to see you guys attempt it and I want you guys to work maybe orthographically you don't have to work in perspective here's why because Mr. Bellion here has not taught you guys two-point perspective if I was like there's so much to show you guys okay this is so exciting for me okay look um, I'm gonna rock this I'm, well, I'm sorry I'm just going to make this quickly for you guys in perspective okay so we'll take any one of these don't worry about it okay so here's perspective one ones and we're not doing a bunch of boxes right now okay so look here it is oops make a new layer thank you very much without looking at any of these okay look that's not the color I want okay here it is okay so V uh, vanishing point one vanishing point two VP one VP two okay so don't think of anything right now here's where I'm gonna really go crazy for a second watch okay Wink. <laughs> okay I'm just having a blast here okay so look I could come in here now I could thicken up my brush and come in here and go boom look at this there it is so this will come this way that'll go that way look at this this is one building right here look how fast guys everything from above has got to go right or left so you got to do both right so vanishing point just go one two there's one building down here it's got to go left and right it's got to go left and right so look there it is that's one building okay so I'm gonna steal another one I'm gonna change a color here so watch how cool this is okay boom look at this I'm just gonna stop it maybe here and I'm just gonna go okay so I'll just come down I'm making a three-point perspective I didn't mean to but here watch basically everything goes down okay so here's building number two okay how awesome is that now I could come in here and add add another piece okay I'm gonna come in here and go you know what I'm gonna all right dude come on thicker let's go here okay and I'm gonna go darker here and I'm gonna come down here boom 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 look at this I just I just added three four pieces for you guys within seconds okay so there I can come in here and I'm sorry this is so rough uh, it's gonna make sense in a second okay so basically this is a two-point perspective I added a third vanishing point which is down here doesn't matter the key is watch I'll make a layer underneath and I'm just gonna crank through this fast I'm gonna show you the different planes ready here we go plane number one right there plane number two look at that okay there now let's go in here and draw another plane okay um, here we go ah that color doesn't work here let's just go like that and I'll take my smaller brush here and I'll just come down like this look like that so this is the building number two and what does this building have another face right so let's pretend this it's this face here and we'll make this a little lighter and we'll go something like this okay so there building number two let's go to building number three for a second or something that stands out okay let's go to green baby here we go Man, I gotta get better at these colors or brushes that I'm using here we go so imagine I've got this building here okay so you guys don't know how to do this that's why I didn't ask you but all their drawings were in perspective every one of them but for you guys this is optional I have I have lessons on one point and two point on my YouTube channel but this is kind of fun okay so watch I'll make another layer now and I'm gonna bring my pen tool and I'm gonna have a blast and here's the thing guys we're in distance learning okay I want you guys to experiment explore get out of your comfort zone if this is beyond your comfort zone, tell me I want to help you understand what I'm talking about okay so look now if I just go over this look how cool this is gonna look look okay there okay so I'll just go up like this like that you can have these going anywhere you want okay so basically you can make a building going like this look all I'm doing is I'm I'm just fanning things out that's all that is right okay and then you can come in here and go well you know this is a this is a piece for me on this level and that's gonna go there look this is going this is like crazy it's it's like watch I'm gonna go like this like that 
You can see now I'm going up to there. I'm going here. Like all this is just exploratory. So, you know, architects do this with doodles like this. They'll just go, yeah, I know what I'm doing. I, I'm going here. This is another building. This is another one here. I'm going to go like that. I'm going to come over here. Uh, this is the part that's, that's going to connect them all together. And look, I'm just going to do something like this. Look, basically you are this this is this is fun but i don't expect anybody to get there right now but watch this one two three four five i just did this in seconds because i'm doodling i have the comfort zone you guys don't but over time look how look what i don't know what i just did but i'm liking it look see i'm just coming in here and i'm sketching right i just basically made i think four or five buildings four buildings by just doodling so that's the plan week five doodle and color doodle and color okay so watch what I'll do right now behind this watch I'm gonna come in here let's go in here I'm gonna zoom in yeah this is so okay I know this is crazy for you guys but trust me on it it's fun okay I gotta stop I hit the 20 minute mark already okay so look at what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna come in here I'm gonna take a rectangle box in this one and you can do this with Crayola and pencil crayons, okay? So is this gonna work? Ding, yes, woohoo! Okay, this is done. Now I'll bring my super duper eraser tool, okay? Check it out. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, I'm just, this is next week, okay? It's aesthetics, it's about form, it's about fun, okay? And then you can come in here because I got rid of the red, right? Basically, and then you can add your own colors, okay? So look, you do stuff like this, okay? This is where you guys need to doodle and have fun with it, okay? Look at that. That would be an example of a building, okay? So if I wanted to come in here and add um, some kind of a blue here, as in a glass P, oh, I can't do that. I gotta come up here. Watch, I can come in here and See, I can now add blue here like that. And this is the just above my sketches, right? I could go um, right here, another shade of blue. Watch. Okay. And then you can start doing stuff like this, okay? This is the, re the direction we're going. Wow, this is 22 minutes of... To me, it's awesomeness. You guys just got to trust me on it, okay? So I'm just going to put some brightness here, whatever, okay? Like, this takes time. Uh, I hope you kind of, I know I'm trying to keep these lessons uh, short, but please, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll upload these JPEGs on the D2L site, and I want you guys to go next week, not think of the electric vehicle, we're pausing that assignment, I want to continue here, eventually we're going to move to a condo unit that you want to live in or a bachelor pad okay that's the goal right now we're just having a blast experiment explore and i'm hoping people get caught up okay best i can do people bowing out love you all okay see ya bye bye where's my f yeah there it is stop